biggest motivation for me to have this signature stick was really the playing characteristics and the sound quality of the stick. Um, the, honestly, the aesthetics, it's, it's awesome to have a, a great looking product as the products are with Vic Firth, but for me, I was motivated by the sound and the way that it played. And the way that it played had to be versatile. So I tried to balance the two major concepts for me. It was the, the quickness and the responsiveness of the rebound and the way that the stick bounces and the quality of how the stick is controlled at different levels, dynamic levels. Because if the stick played really well, and a lot of the way that we were designing the stick, we were going through different prototypes, and we might find a profile that worked really well at higher heights and full rebound, but when you're trying to rebound lower levels, it, the stick lost a lot of that life. So trying to balance dynamic responsiveness and the responsiveness of the rebound throughout that process, that was the biggest motivation of trying to get that product correct in the design process. I think one thing about the stick that really worked well was getting that nice dark tone quality at the lower levels. And a lot of that is the, the bead and the way that the bead, it's not an oval and it's not a barrel, it's sort of in between the two. So, because the barrel for me, I liked the darkness of the sound, but it wasn't quick enough for me. And the oval didn't have enough surface area where you would produce that dark quality at the low levels. I didn't want the sound quality down low to just disappear. And at the same time, I wanted that full rebound and that beautiful playability, almost like bouncing a basketball. I, I, I don't want the players to have to do any work on the upstroke. The way that we designed the, the bead is a big part of that. That and the medium um, length to this taper is a big part of how you get that focus to the front end of the stick. And um, that's the way that the low levels could be controlled down, and then the bead did all the work to give you that dark quality of sound.